I'm Allison Davies, Communications Assistant with Regional Tourism Organization 7. I'm here today with Jenny Henry, the Communications Coordinator for RTF7, for a chat about what the Communications Department does and how we can assist your business in these times. Hello, Jenny. Hi, Al. How's it going? <laughs> oh, good, good. <laughs> um, I thought we'd start by just talking about the website. I know the numbers took a bit of a hit in 2019 and 2020. Um, it was a challenging year, and I thought you could give us your take on that. Yeah, sure. Um, so last year, we had a bit of a budget change from the provincial government. So our paid promotions went out a little bit delayed, and that includes the partnership video program and the partnership image programs. So without that paid programming and the paid promotions, we don't get the traffic to the website. Like That drives so much traffic. By having those out there and that's mostly through Facebook and Instagram it's not like we're doing a whole pile of advertising out there so mm -hmm. instead of starting around we were aiming for April 1st so it probably would have been mid-April usually we didn't start pushing things out to like the end of June the very end of June like June 28th or close to that date and then of course at the end of the year COVID-19 hit and we pulled everything as of March 16th and that was like the stuff that goes through our department as well as everything across RTO7. And then we mm -hmm. kind of went a little bit quiet for a while. So in March alone, our website traffic, the number of page views dropped by 40% just because of COVID-19 and the lack of paid programming um, and promotions driving the traffic to our site. Yeah, that's understandable. But yeah, but it's hard, hard to, to, hard to hard read to those numbers. Like, yeah, very <laughs> hard. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, I noticed some changes on the website. I know when you visit on the Great Places pages and the activities pages, there's some galleries that look like film strips. Um, I'm just wondering, you know, what the purpose of those in is and if a business were wanting to be featured in there, how would they go about that? So um, those are through a software program, a program we subscribe to called CrowdRiff. And what CrowdRiff allows us to do is collect photos legally through uh, social media channels, predominantly Instagram. And then what we're able to do is use them in what are called CrowdRiff galleries. And the really cool thing about those is we can add a call to action. So for instance, and I'll use Fern Resort as an example. If we're talking about Fern Resort or we're talking about Aurelia, we can direct traffic right from those galleries to our partners' websites, which also helps increase our external links. Um, to get on there, um, you would probably need to be the topic of a blog post, um, and you would probably need to be from that community. So the Great Places ones, for instance, focus on 10 of our top communities slash tourism areas. And those ones, um, well, Allison, goes through and she collects them to, to put in the gallery. <laughs> and then that they just create more interest on the page. They increase our SEO traffic. Like they're really a useful tool for us. And what mm -hmm. I really like about them is they showcase our operators and our attractions and the region and don't so much focus on keeping people on the website. I think they're a super useful tool and it's user generated content. So it's authentic, sincere content that comes from people who are actually visiting, touring, and living in the region. So sometimes they capture an emotion or a scene, um, or just that something special that we can't always catch mm -hmm. with uh, our own photography or when we use a professional. It's just a totally different kind of image. Cool, yeah, I agree. They've been a great addition to the website for sure. Um, and. I just wondered if we could go over what RTO7 can offer an operator. Okay, sure. Um, there's a few ways we can help you and most of them don't cost you anything at all. So if you have not been on BruceGraySimco.com, I suggest that you visit it as an operator. And if you are an operator and you don't have a listing on there, I highly recommend that you get one on there because when we are doing our paid promotions, tons of traffic goes to the site. There were over 2 million visits to Bruce Gray Simcoe last year. And with your listing, you get the usual name, address, phone number, all of that basic stuff. But you can also add a link to a YouTube video. You can add um, images. You can add your logo. 
And in addition, you have the opportunity to add, if you have specials or promotions, we have that on the page, that'll appear on your operator listing page. And if you add tourism events, and right now we're really pushing that people add virtual tourism events, uh, mm -hmm. those will appear with your listing as well. So that's one way. So the listing itself, the promotions as well, and then also if you um, add your events to the website. So when you add your events, our festivals and events site also gets over 100,000 hits a year. And again, we push that one out super heavily through paid promotions. So once we have a few more virtual events on there, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that we can do a bit more promotion for that website. But just by you adding your information on there, then you are eligible for basically free advertising that RTO7 pays for. Right, right, good. FreeSimco.com is geared totally for our tourism market. So that just features anything tourism related that's going to bring in people either hopefully from without the region and within the region. And right now, because of COVID-19, we're focusing more on local markets because of we don't want to encourage people to travel too, too far. Um, then on the RTO7 side, we have RTO7.ca. So that is focused geared to our industry. So that will have updates on what's going on in the tourism industry, what RTO7 is doing. And since we're funded by the provincial government, anything the provincial government, if they ask us to share updates, it's also where we have uh, free online training for operators. So there's tourism excellence training. So that's customer service training. And then we also have It's Your Shift which is uh, a sexual harassment and violence, what to do, how to deal with that in the workplace. Um, and there's also an event section. So there's an events calendar on there. So if there's um, webinars, conferences, when we're back into being able to attend things, workshops, this is where they go. So we can share all of that with people who are in the tourism industry. There is also one more website that we call the stakeholder site. And probably the best feature of this site and you do have to register and you do have to be approved to use the information on this site but I would say the highlight are the images and the video clips that anyone across the region any tourism operator is welcome to go in and download and use them in their promotions free of charge and I believe there's over 12,000 images and video clips on there for people to access this is also where we put updates about board meetings, and we also put tourism reports that we get from the province on here. And um, if we have like special presentations, they also appear on here. So great. That's so, that's why there are so many websites. Yeah, that's a yep. So R two O seven is the purely the industry side. Yeah. First Grace Simple is the consumer facing side. Yes. But an operator has obviously an interest in both because if they want to have a listing or feature their events on the consumer yes. side. That's then, right. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I, yep, go ahead. I was going to say, I wanted to add in here too, when I talked about the two training programs, both of those are free as well. That's mm -hmm. another way RTO7 helps operators. So if an operator is hiring staff or they feel like they need the training as well, and as you know, we have to take the training yep. yearly. Yep. Um, but if they feel they need to brush up on their customer service skills, it's an hour long online program that's accessible 24 seven. So you can sign yourself up, you can sign your staff up and the same with the It's Your Shift program. That one also is funded by RTO7 as well. So they're really good programs. And right now, maybe when you're not so busy or you're looking to up your game, both of those training programs are good mm -hmm. for any operator in the region. Mm -hmm. I just passed the customer service training again not long ago. Yay! Yeah. Um, I've noticed that sometimes there are tourism operators videos running on the Bruce Grace Simcoe Facebook page. Um, I know that's part of the partnership video program, but how would a business get involved in that? Okay, so the partnership video program you would actually do with Alex Hogan, who's in charge of the programs. And I don't remember the number amounts dollar wise but mm -hmm. i do know they're affordable for even the smallest operators so for instance you bring in a certain amount of money and then rto7 partners with you mm -hmm. and then you get um, a high quality video for a reasonable price 
what RTO7 does do then is we have like I think there are close to 250 videos total that's all seasons so what we do is spring summer fall and then in the winter through our Facebook page we won what we run what is called the partnership video program so right now for $750 which RTO7 pays your video runs for four weeks so you get all that exposure and the traffic is driven to your website as the operator so if you're the operator featured in that website then the landing page is whichever page you choose on your website and they run for four weeks we pay the 750 so basically it's a win-win situation for us because we have high quality videos to tell the story mm -hmm. of the region and you get four weeks of paid promotion at no cost to yourself once you've developed the video all the videos within the program that are with within that promotion have to be from RTO7's partnership program. And we also offer, we just started this last year, we do have an image partnership program and we started doing um, image partnership campaigns as well. That started last year in the summer of 2019. Great, great. Um, also notice that the website's divided into great places. Um, yes. I know sometimes people are wondering why one place qualifies as a great place and another doesn't do you uh can you give some insight into that sure we get that question a lot especially mm -hmm. from the people who aren't featured in there what we have done and we work with an agency called the aver group who takes care of all of our paid promotion and advertising and through their research and just through using google analytics and checking out what people are searching for those top 10 locations were way ahead of everybody else so that's why they're great places so the reason they're chosen is if somebody types in for instance that they're looking for the blue mountains or collingwood hopefully will pop up and it will lead them to our page our website and then from there they will find everybody else like the idea is kind of like to throw the hook out lure them in and then mm -hmm. get them to explore more right okay the only other thing I think we haven't talked about is just uh, our social media presence in both channels. Um, I know that there's a website for R207 Connection and then there's a website for BGS, Bruce Gray Simcoe. Uh, we also have social media channels that line up with those. And um, yep. do you, would you encourage operators and businesses to tag us in their posts and events? Oh, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Anything that you want shared or that you want us to know about, make sure you tag us. And on Instagram, you can either tag us or use the hashtag Bruce Gray Simcoe. And right now there are a lot of um, webinars out there. There's a lot of funding programs for operators out there. So on the RTO7 side, if you have anything that you would like to share, tag us at RTO7 Connection or hashtag us at RTO7 Connection as well, and we'll get it out there. And if you want us to share a story, which we can do both on Instagram and Facebook through Instagram, mm -hmm. be sure to tag us in your story as well. And that way we can help you get more coverage for your um, events, information, or whatever's going on in your business. If you're reopening right now, it's a really good time to let us know that you are reopening and we can help spread the word out there. Great. Okay, yeah, I think the overall message is that uh, communications, just like every other part of RTO7 is here to help. And um, I think that gives everybody a great overview of what we do. Oh, good, I'm glad. Yeah, and if they need help in like, sharing information, they are free to contact either myself or you and mm -hmm. we can help walk them through it and if we're not the person to deal with we can certainly direct them to whoever else can help them within our organization or beyond there's a lot of really good groups across the region and mm -hmm. if your somebody's question comes in and we don't know the answer we can find out who does yep definitely okay thanks so much Ginny. you're welcome thank you